Charleston County elections officials say they are already seeing strong turnout for early voting nearly two weeks before the statewide Republican and Democratic primaries June 11th. Early voting centers open Tuesday and will continue to run from 830 in the morning until 5 in the evening for the rest of this week and next week. These primaries will narrow down the candidates that will be on the ballot in November's general election. This includes all seven of South Carolina's seats in the U.S. House of Representatives and all seats in the South Carolina State Legislature. Some ballots also include races for local level offices such as county, sheriff or solicitor. In Mount Pleasant, we have our heaviest turnout right now. Uh, still not any lines, but the most people have gone cast their ballot in Mount Pleasant. Obviously, Congressional District 1 would be the race there that many people are interested in and the Republican sheriff a primary. Um, but here in North Charleston, it's pretty quiet. Uh, but when you go to any of our early voting centers, you are not going to have to wait. You can show up, be in and out in less than five minutes. Charleston County residents can vote early at the Board of Voter Registration and Elections Building in North Charleston, Essex Village Church of Christ in West Ashley, and Wando Library in Mount Pleasant. In Berkeley County, you can go to the Berkeley County Board of Voter Registration and Elections in Monk's Corner, the Hanahan Library, or the Daniel Island Library. And in Dorchester County, you can visit the St. George Civic Center, the Marsha O'Brien Conference Center in Somerville, and Westcott Park in North Charleston. And a reminder that News 2 will host a debate between the two Democrats running in the 1st Congressional District right here in our studio next Thursday. We are teaming up with our sister station in Savannah, WSAV, to host the hour-long debate between candidates Mac DeFord and Michael B. Moore. That will start at 8 p.m. DeFord is an attorney and U.S. Coast Guard veteran. Moore is a business executive and the founding president of the International African American Museum.